Hi guys, welcome back to the reviews. My name is Adrian Lowe. Welcome to Asian Papers Reviews. Okay, in this video, let me introduce to you all about the Beeper AIO by Wiz Vapor. So for this Beeper device, now they're coming out with the AIO. Uh, previously, they got the normal port kit, which is I got did the reviews before. But this time, they're coming out with more high-end device. Lah. Now for this Beeper AIO, they are using the Mesh RBA, which is for you all to coil by your own self. Huh? I will teach you all everything. Stay tuned, don't skip these videos. At the first before I start these reviews, I want to tell you all that this video is not selling nor promoting. It's just an educational and tutorial video for you all. So right now, let's just start these reviews. So there are four or five types of colors which is another one is white color very nice and i didn't receive they didn't send me they just sent me this blue color and also this black color so let's just take a look about two of this color black is also nice the blue is also nice for this device they came together with this cover as well for you all to put in your pants or anywhere like this okay so you can take out as well this time they upgrade with more high-end material which is they are using the aluminium so the dimension of this device the height is 87 uh, millimeter and from right here is 26 millimeter from right here is 52 millimeter for the frame of this device is an aluminium alloy plus pc plus silica gel the device weight is 142 grams so for this device when you take out from the box when you turn it like this there is no cover uh, there is no plate it's count as a no battery port mode or box mode if you want to call it a box mode also can port mode also can and for this type of design it's like the bb box and also the dot mode so the packaging actually is whole black like this right here at the top it writes beeper aio vaping all in one with vapor and at the side right here it writes custom function for vapors 80 watt because you insert your own 18650 battery so that it can pop up until 80 watt and then mesh cause better texture diy your own beeper so at the back it got a little bit of information right here contains and attention and as i mentioned inside the box you will receive one of the device okay and then another things that you will receive is this one these things this is the atomizer and they got provide you another transparent cap if you all don't want to use this steel cap both is also very nice another thing is they give you a very very nice drip tip uh, 510 drip tip very very nice so at this section right here they got provide you a little bit of the tools such as this for you all to roll your mesh coils and then they got give you this uh, to put in your at the top right here to screw it they give you another trade for you all to spare extra oh one small screwdriver and one allen key screws not yet at the bottom right here uh, finally you will get this two cottons uh, and then a little bit of the o-rings you will receive the panel last but not least you will receive a card right here together with the user manual you all just scan the code so if you get the black color they will give you the black drip tip together with the black color panel see the black color panel very very nice so for this type of panel actually is located at the back only uh, you can use either this hole right here at the top or either you can choose this one this one the airflow is at the bottom uh, i'm not sure is it the same airflow later i'll try it and at the front right here there is no panel you cannot put in any panel at the first when i take a look at this both panel i thought one is at the front one is at the back but there is no hole for the button uh, so how about this blue color when you turn at the back and then you just put it like this it's nice as well everything transparent so make sure your battery is wrapped very very nice uh, you can wrap your own sticker or you use a nicer battery to put in and the moment that everyone is waiting for uh, let me tell you about this rba which is they call it the mecha rba has a 3 ml tank on the bottom and an rdta on top so basically this one is a rba it's like a rda okay so when you take out this cap okay at the top there is a mesh cost for you all and for this steel uh, it will slowly absorb the e-juice going up okay and then hit the mesh cost but then right here you still need to insert the cotton later so for this steel you can take out as well actually you can take out as well see you can just pull out the steel like this and then if you want to change cotton or drain your e-juice you take out this steel and then you just drain all your cotton you can wash it it's a washable and then you just put this stainless steel back in like this so nowadays all the new generation rdta they're using this type of steel for you all to absorb the e-juice 3 ml remember and very simple you can see a screw right here you just open the screws right here the left and also the right this side another section okay just open both of the screws just loosen it a bit oops so for the deck all the component is very very tiny and you must use the mesh that they provide and also the cotton uh, this shoelace cotton stick out they provide two mesh cores i'm not sure how many ohm is this mesh cores later i'm gonna try it so you're gonna use these tools okay these acrylic tools and then you just roll it around this mesh cores you just roll it like this and it's done see 
just roll it like this so for the mesh very easy you just put it into the left and also the right post okay like this but must be careful because everything is very tiny sometimes it will jump out or maybe you can screw at one side first this and then you put in another one and screw it another side tightly and like this so make sure don't bend the mesh until it looks very ugly okay make sure it looks nice like this and before we put in the cotton remember to prime it first okay you need to see the fire is it from inside to outside got any hot spot or not need to make sure so for this device you need to put the 18650 battery okay it's a spring loaded just push in like this and then you put in this atomizer slowly and then before you put in this atomizer see you cannot put in you cannot put in see you cannot put in it's blocked everything's blocked you need to take out the five time top part right here just twist it only you can put this atomizer and you need to put back this adapter because okay as you can see there is a steel plate at the top right here there is a negative pin because of this cartridge there is no trade at the bottom there is no negative there is only positive so that's why they make a two pin like this for you all to touch the negative now you can see it reached 0 0.22 ohm okay i'm gonna press the fire button to see the firing okay the firing is nice firing very very nice you don't even need to scratch it or prime it many many times no need see when i press the fire button the fire go from inside to outside very very nice so without wasting our time now we can just wait it cool down okay for the coils to cool down and then uh, make sure there's no hot okay and then just open back open it back and then we're gonna take out this cartridge slowly and then the battery remains right here most of the atomizer rdta they got the negative uh, they got the trade to connect with the 510 trade but this one don't have uh, they just trade like this and then just directly give you a gold plated positive pin like this and for this device right here you also can see there's only one pin uh, there's only one pin right here so that's why they make this two pin go straight until the top for you all to touch with this adapter uh, when you close the cap see ah uh, like this when you close the cap that time there there's a two pin right here see and then if you use the this cap there there's a two pin right here together with all these steel i think this is a stainless steel so it depends on you all what cap you all want to use lah. but for me i want to show you more nicer i'm going to use this transparent cap so the next thing you need to do is use one of these shoelace cotton for this shoelace cotton very easy very simple you just put it into this hole like this just put it into this hole slowly and then pull it okay pull it slowly this Ugh okay and for this side right here you need to make it fluffy a bit like this before you trim the cotton uh, you better put in a little bit of the e-juice lah so the e-juice that i will be using is this premium e-juice lah the cardinal lab butterscotch coffee it's a 60 ml and the flavor taste as i can tell you is very very nice lah very very perfect very very fragrance just strip in just a little bit of e-juice is okay then we chop it slightly gonna measure not too short chop another side use a tweezer just push it inside see this place right here okay you just put in your cotton like this mount in into the section like this okay sits tight nice open this hole uh, and refill oh it's nice it's big okay refill your e-juice 3 ml pump in your e-juice cut in the lab like this okay and then pump in again Phew, nice guys nice nice see guys see uh, nice right uh, as i told you all guys you viking good you vaping good ha ah, it's already so damn long time i didn't say these words already lah because they all keep sending me port device port device and also all those uh disposable so today i'm very grateful lah uh, that i can finally review about rdta for the beeper aio Whew, sure. so let's continue to the next step okay for this uh cap you just only can close it one section uh following by this notch right here just close it like this okay so if you see the uh, o-rings is not nice attach it not nice never mind you just take it out you just rub a little bit of e-juice like this and then you just put it back on 
now everything looks nice see the e juice looks nice the cotton looks nice okay and there's a hole right here hole right here hole right here uh, this is all of this is an airflow okay there is no hole at the bottom usually all those uh, rba all those occ coils all these type of cartridge the hole the airflow is located at the bottom for this one is an rdta so it will become direct uh. so without wasting our time let's just put in this cartridge you can put it either like this or either like this there's no problem but i recommend you all uh, put it like this because uh, there is an airflow at the front right here okay now let's just close back this pin so for this gold plated 510 pin actually is a little bit hard okay see it's a little bit hard you need to use a coin or tweezer to turn it see it can't even fit inside but i think it's already connected see right here uh it's become 0 0.15 ohm okay then you just put in your drip tip uh, it depends on you all you all want to use the black color actually the black color whole black is also nice as well they provide you the black plate but for this one it's also okay if you got two device you can put this black color plate right here there is no problem uh okay it also looks nice as well actually for me lah, for me if i want to choose dot mode or either this one actually both of the device is also not bad uh, for this one it's a new style kind of new style like this and talking about the chipset right now let me try to fire first uh. okay let me try to fire first Oh, lama. okay so for the step one it's already finished which is coiling tutorial uh, step two uh, about the chipset how to adjust everything but before i tell you about the step two about how to adjust all the setting right here the first thing i need to do is let me wait first <sighs> i'm tired let me drink my starbucks first and let me wait for one time few times first lah okay for the mesh coils it's pointing at 0 0.14 ohm and then just hitting on 24 what Wow. Ooh, yo, shock, 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 shock. This flavor, the feel is really coming back uh, for all those type of creamy free base e juice. Okay, and drip in into this uh, type of device. Actually, for all those port AIO, port mode, comparison with this one, if you're using RDA, is totally different feel. But for the 24 watt, actually, it's not enough. Really, not enough for me. I need to pump up more higher voltage. Okay, let's just pump up more higher voltage such as around 41 lah 40 watt 41 watt press the fire button oh my god the feel okay talking about the airflow currently i'm using this panel okay let's just try to change this panel let's just try and see is it the same no panel it's almost the same okay the airflow is almost the same but there's only one thing you cannot adjust the airflow because it's a rdta it's meant to be for you all to play huge wattage huge airflow because it's a rdta okay malay call lion guys padu lion moloke so right now after you understand about the rdta coiling tutorial now let's just talk about the chipset okay for the chipset you press this enter button there is a left right and enter button and fire button okay you press enter button inside you will straight go inside the setting every setting right here you got to back okay goes back to the main screen and then you press enter okay texture option for this one as i can attach a picture right here for you all they got a violence which means it's very fast firing like and then normal and then soft and then juicy taste and then dessert nut taste and then you got tea milk taste like this okay and then you can straight go back by just pressing the enter like this okay and then flavor clip flavor you got 10 flavor clip right here you all can adjust what name you like like example you press the first one and then you choose abc what name of the flavor and then next time it will appear on the main screen but i'm not gonna use it okay just press back okay i'm not sure how to just press enter okay for this one uh another one cyber fortune this is a game like dice and uh, 64 hexagram previously for the previous people also got this function already and then time setting you can shut down and lock setting and then just back and then about beeper you can put on your own name and then model and then uh, this all these things lah okay you all can check it out by your own self and then reset you can reset the beeper now just let's just press no and then back okay for the path right here i'm not sure how to reset the path okay right now you press the enter button and the left button like this you cannot reset the path and then you press these two button it's lock okay and then you press enter again it's unlock okay and then you press the left and right button together it will show you the chipset like this and then if you press three times one two three 
one two or either one two three four you cannot reset the path as well so maybe for the reset path it is right here reset okay error reset beeper now press yes and then you go back okay now there is no path at all and everything will be reset so how about the if you reset the flavor clip is also reset everything reset so i think that is only the way for you all to reset the path lah. but in case if you all already save all the setting the name everything the flavor clip or everything you all cannot reset path lah. once you reset the path everything reset i think it's like this lah. so this time for the beeper uh, this beeper aio comparison with the previous version unfortunately i didn't bring the previous version the non-aio version the cartridge with the occ is okay as well for the previous version it's more lightened it's made by uh, plastic for this one actually when you hold it it doesn't feel like the previous version even though it's just a design i can feel they really use effort to make this device lah okay it's like great a device lah it doesn't feel cheap at all okay see all these uh panel they make it transparent inside the another layer and for this time all the button is very 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 good to press even though the fire button for the fire button as you all can see right here there is no rattle sound okay and it's kind of heavy even though they are using a aluminium alloy because of this RDTA and together with a single 18650 battery so the weight of this device actual weight lah if you put in the 18650 battery everything together is nearly 200 gram okay it really brings back the box mode memories lah like the RDA RDTA so for this device the display screen is uh, 1.7 inch OLED screen the airflow is located right here okay one side and then and another side right here and this is type C 5V2A uh, they are using the 5V2A for this device the maximum is 80 watt 5 until 80 watt max the display screen right here uh, you can see your battery percentage and then wattage right here volt ohm path and then wisp vapor and then beeper aio right here okay so uh, a recommendation for the mesh cost that they given you all can pump up roughly uh, 60 watt 65 watt there's no problem see okay like this 0 0.14 ohm together with using this e-juice butterscotch coffee uh, the cardinal labs and then press the fire button Whew, power sial very very power sial now let's just try and see steam steam just release the fire button more earlier oh steam 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 shock 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 see ya huh? just release the fire button more earlier if you want to use higher wattage example like 65 watt shock okay so that's all for these videos that i want to tell you all for today's reviews about the wish vapor uh beeper aio uh, actually the name is quite long lah wish vapor beeper aio i see you all in my next reviews again my name is adrian low thanks for watching asian vapors reviews adios